Sportsline Overtime, taking you through the summer and giving you what you want, football, a preview of high school football coming up this fall. And it's a pleasure now to welcome into the studio Dave Masterson in his 11th year with the uh, Northeast Vikings, a uh, lighter Dave Masterson, <laughs> uh, 40 pounds lighter. Coach, hey, look, I know losing's hard, but don't take it. <laughs> Too hard there. I'll, I'll tell you what, after the season you had, you'll drop a few pounds. The stress kind of gets to you every now and then. Last year, I know uh, you guys are used to winning big at Northeast. You've had a lot of great seasons. Two and seven is not what you're used to. No, it wasn't. It was, uh, you know, from everybody, from administration, through coaches, through players, uh, fans, every one of us was disappointed in the outcome. It's, you know, one of the things that we have to sit down and address. And we want to play up education. I mean, that's what they're there for, to go to high school, to, to succeed outside of football. But obviously, uh, the new 2.0 requirements uh, hit Northeast hard. Uh, I don't think it was just Northeast. That's the thing is, it, you know, it, it affected all of East Baton Rouge Parish. But I mean, the purpose that we're here is for school. You know, it's, it's called extracurricular activities, meaning extra from your curriculum, um, and that's the purpose of school is, is to get those degrees. Every coach out there has theirs. Imagine LSU had 33% higher requirements than everybody else in the SEC. Well, you turn into Vanderbilt. You know, that they're here for school first, and we're limited on practice times and a whole bunch of other things. But yeah, it, it has had an effect, but yeah. you know, that, that can't become a crutch or an excuse. We've got to get better. And let's now welcome into studio uh, the player that coach has brought in for us, a senior running back this year, making the transition to uh, from fullback to running back, Leroy Williams. And Leroy, talk about that transition and how you think it's going uh, for you so far. Well, it's going good because last year I did a lot of more blocking for for our tailback last year who graduated this year. And this year we, we are going to run the ball a lot this year. so. And the coaches told me I'm going to get the ball a lot. Northeast football used to winning, right? Yes, sir. Well, not used to two and seven. No, sir. So what are you guys doing to change that, you and your teammates this year? Well, we're lifting hard, working hard, listening to what coach tell us to do. And coach, let's, uh, let's bring it back to you and talk about uh, uh, this is a broken record. We say this every single year, it seems like at least. You're stuck in the same district as Parkview Baptist <laughs> and a Redemptorist. And that obviously are uh, two programs that win state championships and go to the Superdome. And in Redemptorist's case, they went to Shreveport and won a state championship after uh, Katrina there. Uh, West Feliciana, certainly uh, no slacker either, and Baker is trying to, to get back to where they were. Oh, the I think from top to bottom, it's the toughest 3A district in the state. Um, you know, when you, when you said that Redemptorist won that state championship in, in Shreveport, which they did, remember they knocked us out of the playoffs that year. And, the following year, Baker was in the quarterfinals, losing to the state champion Lutch. Parkview, who was a 2007 with 15 and 0, um, we lost him 28-25 on a punt return with two minutes left in the game. What are you guys going to have to do this year to, to flip that record? To say to go to seven and uh, two as opposed to two and seven, or actually, you know, you played ten games, so in this case, eight and two. <laughs> no, we played nine. We actually have an open date because we uh, Lehigh had dropped. So when, you guys um, are still feeling the effects of Lehigh two, yeah, two years it, well, after? Everybody, if you go look in that district, has open dates. Uh, the only one who filled was Rob over at West Feliciana, filled it with Jesuit, and I still don't know what he was thinking when he did that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you say, what do we got to do to fix the problem? The first thing we got to do is start finishing games. You know, we've got to get to that fourth quarter, be able to put people away. Trendon ran it a little faster than most people. Well, <laughs> you know, he too. did it, but we were running before he got there, uh, you know, and th there's been a history of very good running backs. Uh, I, I think Leroy can step into that role. There, there are several running backs that we're, we're going to count on that, that uh, can do what we expect Northeast for running backs to do. Well, Coach Masterson, thanks so much for uh, coming down to the studio to join us today. And uh, Leroy Williams, your uh, new little ball of power there that's going to be running the football for you this year. Uh, best of luck to both of you this season. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay.